Philip of Gwynedd. You will be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Oh. In humbleness, I stand before you, most humbled by your trust and humbled by the great tasks ahead of us. We must restore Kingsbridge to do justice to the glory of God and to his mercy. The desperate and the hopeless everywhere shall hear our bells. They shall see our towering cathedral. Our great church will become a guiding light. But first and foremost, through our actions and our faith, we ourselves shall be such a light. A light to the lost, the hurt, and the suffering on their path to God. The Earl of Shiring is not in attendance, it seems. He is not. Shameful. He's busy preparing his siege on Winchester. I trust he does not know we are about to foil his plans, Percy. Answer the bishop, my husband. No, no, he does not expect us, not at all. My men are ready. So is our son. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, so there's some power politics going on here. There you are. What's the matter? Did I have a father? Yes. Everyone has a father. Alright, so we're gonna ask what happened to him. What happened to him? He died before you were born. How could he be my father if he died before I was born? Babies grow from a seed. The seed comes out of a man's prick and is planted in a woman's cunny. Then the seed grows into a baby in her belly. And when it's ready, it comes out. <laughs> is Tom going to plant the seed in you? Nah, that's, uh, this is the priority here. Why did you never tell me about my Why father? Why did you never tell me? About father, I mean. I needed you to be older. Trust me, once the time is right, I will tell you everything. I promise. What was my father's name? Jack. The same as you. They called him Jack Sherberg. So, if there's another Jack, I can tell people that I'm Jack Jackson? <laughs> you can. People don't always call you what you want them to. But you can try. Oh, army on the horizon. What is that? Jack, find the others, then hide and don't come out till I tell you. All right, uh, the Pillars of the Earth from the Ashes, Chapter 4, the Prior of Kingsbridge, what you did. You have become the Prior of Kingsbridge. Valoran does as you asked. His allies, the Hamleys, attack Earl Castle. William Hamley was intimidated when you mentioned Hell. And the thief you reported, Brother Marcus, fled the Priory after a severe caning. All right, so... Uh... The thief you reported fled the Priory. That lies not with me. The responsibility for that lies with uh, the grumpy guy. We couldn't have known he would do that so severely that the novice would leave. There were indications that he might, but he was also in charge. So responsibility lies with him. Uh, about the attack. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I did the right thing there. Then again, he might still foil it as he seems to have whispered in the church, although we aren't actually allowed to... N technically aren't supposed to know that. Well, let's just, well, we don't have a choice besides accepting it, but, uh... Chapter 5. 
We're going through these new chapters rather fast. The man in the flames. Oh, there are at least 200 of them at the river. Knights again? What colors do they wear? They are not knights, Philip. They say they cannot pay. It is all right, Brother Paul. I told them that there's a toll. Yeah, this many people on that crooked bridge is Who a is bad idea. Who will speak for you? No one will speak for us, monk. We were chased from every village. They are outlaws. We are no outlaws. <laughs> We come from Earl's castle. They killed our men! My child! They killed my child! By God. We cannot feed you. We barely have enough for ourselves. Alright. Tough call. Let's see. What do we do? Can't feed them? Or give them shelter? But there are many extra hands to get more food. The problem is, will they be able to? I guess we ought to do the heroic thing and seize the opportunity. We will give them shelter. Philip, we have not enough room. We will give you all shelter, all of you. I wish I had more to give. More? We've given away almost all the food we have. What will these poor people eat tomorrow? Before they came here, they fed themselves. They worked. My Surely thoughts exactly. They do that again. <sighs> there are more coming. Word is spreading fast. What do we do now, Philip? Give me the rest of the bread. But here, Philip. The last bread we have. Let's spend it wisely. Then, help to clean out the empty houses, and tend to the injured. You heard our prior, brothers. Alright, alright, alright. So we have three last breads. What do we have? Monastery, this is my fault, I did this, it was me. Alright, so we're feeling guilty. Uh, road to the north. I did this. It was me. This is my fault. Is it going to be the same thing? Dying man with child. Well, if he's dying, we're not giving him any bread. Refugees at mill. Uh, let's interact. It was the Hamleys. They couldn't get their rotten son married to our young lady. If there is any justice in the world, the king will punish them. All right, so the attack already occurred. The children are all alone. None of them are crying. Shock, I guess. Earl Bartholomew was a good man. How they humiliated him in front of his children. It was not right. He will come to help us. No woman, they will hang him. But why? <laughs> Prayer for a man. Wow. Don't move, Pa. I can work. I've always worked. Please let us stay. What is this, Pa? Your leg has turned all black. I taught my children how to make baskets and ropes. Ah. I do not dare to call on you, God, for fear you might answer. What have I done? How do we deserve this? Why has God forsaken us? He has not forsaken you. But our children are sick. Our husbands were killed. <laughs> I do not dare to call on you, God, for fear you might answer. All right, so I think this is going to be a repeat. Refugees at Mill is the last one, I guess. 
Thank you, Prior, for your clemency. Uh, I know there's only so much you can do. <coughs> all right, all right. Women and children, refugees, children without parents, and injured people. All right, so um, we have three breads. And one, two, three, four, five, six groups. Tough choices time. If we give it to the dying guy, he'll still die because his leg is, leg is black. So the only solution is amputation and then he won't be able to work hard enough to be worth his food. And as a result, we might perish as a group. So he's off the list. Group of refugees. Hungry women and children. They won't be able to work as hard, but it's a long-term solution that will probably work. Refugees at mill will be able to work. Injured people will be able to work after they heal, maybe. Children without parents. Huh. So we have a couple of maybes here and some definites. I'm pretty sure we can give... Group of refugees, group of refugees at the mill. Now that's two groups of competent people. Honestly... We should... It's difficult. You know, the injured people, they still might die and we're facing a tough choice. So... Wait, we can... We can go to the south? We can go to the gate, too. Towards the north as well. No, wait, that's just in info. Let's go to the south first. I'm not running away. Oh. So we have to stay. There aren't any additional groups at the, at the south area. These people need my help. Alright, so we have to share the bread first. It's too urgent. We need to work tomorrow. For, or even today if we still can. As fast as possible. So I think we need to feed the refugees at the mill and the other group of refugees that can work. Oh, thank you. We'll make it last as long as we can. Prior, I was a farmer in Earl's Castle. I could help you here. I can work. <coughs> God bless you. There you go. And the other groups of refugees no, I'm all right. Others need it more than I. Take it. Share it with the others. But you have to eat too. Thank you, Father. All right. Now we have the difficult choice. Children without parents or hungry women and children. We can either give up... Well, let's see. Tomorrow, some of those women might work and share their food with their kids, where these won't... <laughs> I mean, kids in the Middle Ages are already training for a craft. So they might be able to work a little bit. They aren't hungry, though. Alright, so they're just crying. They must have seen horrible things. <sighs> Trauma. I do not dare to call a Pophia. Alright. So we have traumatic children. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to the women and kids. We can't afford... Like, if there is gonna be people dying of starvation, maybe the... I don't know, it's kinda cr it's very, very cruel. <laughs> but the most damaged kids aren't a good idea. I don't know. We're feeding kids anyway. This is not enough. He has more bread! I saw it! Please, our children are starving! Give us bread for our children! Please, give some to those give people it over to there! Us. We have Why nothing. did this happen? What did we our do? Our children wrong? will die in this cold! Huh? Wake Please, up, huh? let us stay where we can work! We'll inspect these notes. 
Phillips notes about refugees at Kingsbridge dated January 1136. I sat with refugees who had sought shelter at our priory. They told me horrifying stories. Politically, the seizure of Earl Castle was a strategic move to support King Stephen, but for these men, women, and children, it was a great tragedy. They told me William of Hamley and three other horsemen leading an army of knights, they trampled those who fell, set their houses ablaze, and yelled at them to scream louder. The townspeople fled with nothing to take with them and nowhere to go. Just hearing about it sent shivers down my spine. If we had not gotten involved, this would not have happened. So, we, we thought we were preventing the war. Have you done as I told you? We have cleared out the houses and put up fires. All houses are occupied and our brothers are treating the sick and injured. There is still some room in the guest house and in the dormitory. Tomorrow we will open the cathedral. We need all the room we can get. Prior Philip. Word spreads fast. Yes? Oh, Anton, here they are. Master Builder. And I'd like to rebuild your Northwest Tower. Dear God, they look even worse than the others. Like they haven't eaten in days. They just don't stop coming, do they? I have worked on Salisbury Cathedral. My last employer was the Earl of Shiring himself. I know my craft. If you let your tower collapse, it may tear down parts of the nave. Hire me, and I'll make it strong again. Let's help refugees first. It's all hands on deck on saving people at the moment. Do you not see how many there are in need? They need help as much as you do. They all follow the profession once. They all want to work. That child? You are raising a child? My brother found Jonathan in the woods and brought him here. The poor boy would have frozen to death if it hadn't been for God's great mercy. Jonathan. Look, I am sorry, but all I can offer you is a place to sleep. I'll accept it, but I'd rather earn it. We didn't come here to beg. Now ask God, then. That wouldn't be begging, it'd be prayer. Heh. <laughs> Remedious. You remember what I told you about the kindness of monks? Ask God. That wouldn't be begging, it would be prayer. <laughs> oh, I will pray. I will pray for a thunderbolt to strike the church and level it to the ground. I wonder if they refused us because of me. Why can't Tom repair their church? Because these monks want to hold on to their coin as long as they can. Well, they can't see that it's about to collapse. If it did, I'd have worked for a lifetime. But no, they believe it can all be held together by prayer. Hmm. Do they know you? I used to live close to here, so it is possible. Maybe that monk will change his mind. He seemed nice. He won't. I could see it in his eyes. He's a stubborn one. Can I look around a bit? Yes, but don't stroll too far. Be cautious of those monks. Alright, I still think we've made the right choice. What's the point in spending resources on rebuilding a tower? Monks may be whips, but they take care of their own. They were brought to be a monk. They will. Well, guess there are worse things. Alright, so I'm kind of half suspecting Tom might sabotage the cathedral to make it fall apart a bit sooner? But we're playing as the kid right now, so that's not relevant at the moment. Martha, Mother and Tom. They just sit there taking care of Martha, why are they so worried? Martha looks so tired. But Mother said resting won't be enough. What she needs is a home. That's true. Let's talk with family. Mother? Not now, Jack. 
told you the baby would be safe. What baby? Martha? Leave her, Jack. She's been through a lot. I think she deserves a good night's rest, don't you? Monks may be whips, but they take care of their own. Smells like dead fish. And turnips and onions. Someone's whispering inside. Is there a worse Door. All the monks went inside, even that important one. Must be their lair. <laughs> monks' lair. Big door. This is, so this is a cathedral. How do they get those rocks up there? Do masons learn to fly like birds? <laughs> Collapse tower. What did they do to it? And what can I do to make it even worse? Oh, so I'm going to be the one to destroy the cathedral. Uh, stables cleaner than an earl's castle. These monks must keep very busy. Old monk, he looks so fragile, like a dandelion seed. Better not touch him, lest he blows away. Uh, pony, knights ride horses, monks ride ponies. Martha taught me. <laughs> All right, let's talk with a pony first. It's a long way to go. Uh, that was very enlightening, but what did we expect? It was a pony. Let's talk with the old monk. I am not a ghost, little redhead, even if I am at death's door. If you go first, I will put you in the ground. It's what I do. <laughs> I'll make it a nice grave. You'll like it. Somehow I doubt you it. you must dig me one, too, when my time comes. Agreed? It seems like he deserves this. That's good. Good. You must not be afraid to die. Death is not the end. There is more after. That's the secret. That is what all this here is about. You see? Well, let's close the big door. Oh, Not so we can't go outside. All right. All these sad people out there. We should have stayed in our cave. Out here, everyone is suffering. Um, I guess that means we can either go to the back or into the cathedral. So let's go to the back first. Circle around, then inside. All right, all right, all right. What do we have? House. This house looks special, like a cathedral's little sister. I hope Martha's feeling well soon. Well, monk slabs. They put planks in the ground. Do they practice shooting here? Monks. Why is he so scared? Doesn't he live here? Loose earth. Like that mound in the forest. Ah, I see. He remembers that. Monks. More monks. Mother told me to keep away from them. They're dangerous. And the door. Let's talk with the monk that's all alone. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, you're one of the refugees from Earl's Castle, aren't you? Hmm. I mean, would he be clever enough to lie here? Let's go with yes. Did you see how they killed people? I don't think I could take it. We monks do not do things like killing. Hmm. Yeah, we can't even talk to them. Uh, so the only other... Oh, no, wait. Let's go to the house first. I don't think we can actually enter, though. Locked. Let's go through the door in the cathedral. Let's double click to move on. I will on. not change my mind on this matter. We will help them, all of them. Philip. During the chapter meeting, I realized how much anger is in me. Do you truly think so, Brother Remigius? Yes, but that does not mean that you can ignore my rightful doubts. As sub-prior, I demand an answer. 
how could we ever help all these people? I still hear anger in you. You have a long way to go. What if they start stealing from us? Think of the holy relics in our cathedral. They won't. And I will send away anyone whom I find inside the cathedral when there is no sermon. Good. I will see that you stand by your word. Interesting. <laughs> nice monk, mean monk. There he is. He looks tired. Is he running away too? Mean monk looks mean. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like my mother either. We can go inside. We can go to the path. We can go to the door. We might be able to cross over to the other side. Yeah, they don't spot us. We can also go through that door and to that pathway. All right. Let's talk. Interact with the nice monk. Hey, what are you doing here? Remigius here is right. This is no place for children. Now I remember her. What is it now, Remigius? This woman. She came with the builder. Yes? She is not a refugee. What do you mean? She's an outlaw. She's been here in the past. Prior James warned me about her. She is not from Earl's castle. She's from the forest. But her husband? I doubt they are married. Young man, are you not the builder's son? What's your name? Ooh, he literally just explained it. So, I guess we'd be smart enough to lie. I mean, I feel this is... I don't know, let's play it like this. Jack Builder. See, he is the Builder's son. Well then, off you go, Jack. A strange child, and as suspicious as his mother. When in doubt, we shall believe in the good of man. Fornicators, that's what they are. That woman must be expelled from Kingsbridge. I will let them prove themselves like everyone else. Mm, no. Go back outside, we can go to the cathedral. But he said he would throw anyone out. So maybe not. Pathway, so many paths, don't know where it leads, don't want to get lost. Does it lead to mother again? I'm not sure, this place is confusing. Ah, do we go into the cathedral or not? Well, there doesn't seem to be any immediate advantage to going inside, except maybe we'd be able to sabotage the tower so that they would need a builder. Would that be enough? Tell you what, if there's anyone that could possibly be forgiven for entering the cathedral by accident, it's probably a kid. Although he is suspicious already. I'm gonna go with the inside option. Oh, I wish someone would just tear that cathedral down so we could start afresh. That would require a miracle, and I really don't know a thing about them. I'm so tired. Come. I'll sing you a lullaby. Actually, it's Jack's favorite. 